My name is Prasanna Venkatesh and uh, today I am going to be a sergeant at arms. Uh, I welcome you all to the Medley's uh, outdoor meeting 719. Uh, there are two ground rules which have to be followed during this meeting. First, please turn off your cell phones or keep them on silent mode. I will give you two minutes. Second, uh, do not talk about sex, religion and politics during the meeting. Toastmasters International is a near century old organization helping members grow in the area of public speaking and leadership abilities. As per the mission of Toastmasters, we provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. Without further ado, I would like to call the person who will take this meeting forward. He is a, a Toastmaster of the day. Venkat Pandi. This guy shading. President. <laughs> President. <laughs> President. <laughs> Thank you, Prasanna, for filling in the Sagara Dam room. So we Pass also me. get some. <laughs> that's okay, no problem. Yeah, how are you all doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, are we all excited for another uh, fun filled meeting? Yes. yes. Fun filled or sun filled meeting? <laughs> Both. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, with this uh, imaginary gavel, I declare meeting number 719 open. I would, I would like to recognize uh, dignitaries uh, present uh, with us here. Uh, GTM. Uh, Thomas, for, thanks for joining us. DTM Sudhar Ramasa, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. I uh, would like to have some introduction. Like, to Senthil, would you like to introduce yourself to Senthil? Senthil. 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 I am Sandil. I am from Barclays Chennai Toastmasters Club. I have attended your club meeting uh, some time back, two months back. I have attended one of your meetings as a guest. Today I am presenting my speech, uh, so I am happy to be part of this meeting. Thank you, Sandil. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay. So, last week we all fell in love. right? Our uh, TMOD Prasanna made us fell in, fell in love on ourselves. She turned the Cupid around on ourselves, so focus on ourselves, right? So when we talk about ourselves and what is the critical quality we think about for every human being or as leaders or anybody, right? What would be one critical quality that we would all uh, inherit and uh, follow? Any idea? Top top quality which you would what like to... What do we expect? What, what do we follow as a quality as a human love being as a leader? Respect, love and affection. Respect, love, as a affection. Any other feedback? Okay. Yes, yes. So we, I would say like integrity is one aspect that we will all rate ourselves where we want to be like uh, very clean in that quality, right? When we talk about integrity, being following the integrity with the, the world, with the other fellow human beings and with the team, more than that, we have to play integrity to ourselves. When we look at it, what could be the one uh, option or what could be the one critical item that we would say that we will be playing integrity to ourselves? Okay, before that, when was the last time you all visited beach? Vethanair beach. Last yeah. meeting. Last meeting, okay. Last meeting. Without the meeting for the Toastmasters, any other occasion? Last week. Last week? We are married two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yes. Last week, okay. Last week. I didn't expect, I think I have few, quite a few Toastmasters uh, visiting beach, but most of us have not visited the beach. The reason is that we have not planned to do that. So I would say to play integrity or to follow integrity to oneself, to ourselves, first we should start with planning. If we don't plan, then we don't execute or we don't do anything. So at least we should plan two or three critical items for the day and make sure that we execute the plan so that we all feel confident on ourselves and also we all feel motivated 
and then we are all uh, become successful. So with that note, we'll proceed with the execution of the further proceeding of the meeting. But as we all know, like for every meeting, we'll have the TMOD. Today's TMOD is our Toastmaster Venkat Pali. Venkat Pali is another software uh, for industry person. More than that, he was the surgeon at arms in the last two terms, and he has set the bar very high for the surgeon at arms role. And more than that, he is actually one of an example that I see him as an uh, example for following, uh, setting some goals and following that, so following that execution of the goals, and also following certain discipline in the meet the life goals. So I would hand it over to Toastmaster Venkat Pali to take over the public presence of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, President Toastmaster for fine words. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmaster and guests. Good afternoon. So, normally, in, uh, till last meeting, we used to have a handshake, but here we will have a sandshake. Okay. As part of the today's meeting, this meeting follows three sessions. The first session is prepared speeches. The prepared speeches, people who are all at Osmos already chosen their path and uh, prepared the uh, uh, speech to speak out today. And next one is the table topic, which is the improv speaking, where uh, guests or uh, non speaker or even speakers also get a chance to speak on the uh, impromptu uh, selected speak, uh, speech by the TT master. And the third and final round is evaluation session, where our G general evaluator he will evaluate the, all the speeches and the entire the session and we will uh, uh, submit the report at the end of the session. And as part of the uh, theme of the day, planet over profit. So coincidence that this, uh, I actually chosen this theme of the day four weeks back when I registered an easy speak. And I never thought that this actually fall into the beach today. And this is also a very good idea, coincidence that we are saving the energy by not utilizing the hall. AC, electricity, fan. So this is indirectly or directly we are contributing to the planet here so that it, we as a medley and as an individual we are saving us some energy. So thanks to people XCOM who made this happen today. We are also saving 5,000 for the XCOM. <laughs> Thank you. So when it's come to planet, uh, planet over profit, uh, I was going through the daily physical newspaper and I see a lot of uh, environmental safety and the planet, global warming. And I was wondering what is the pro problem with the planet? What is the health, planet health today? The problem is, is the heat temperature is increasing. Then I, I was asking, asking my question, who increasing this temperature? How is it possible to hold in my hand that I can uh, tune it to down? Then I realized that it's not in our hands. It is a uh, all, not only individual countries and the whole world. And one day I saw the uh, newspaper, uh, our Honorable Prime Minister committed a pledge on 2021 Glasgow Summit. By 2070, India would become a net zero target. That is a, uh, that is a benchmark he committed. But it is not that individual that he can do it. We are all here to make it happen by 2070. But how? Then I was going through the about global warming and uh, I see that uh, temperature increasing because of the greenhouse gases. So what are the greenhouse gases? You all know, right? Carbon dioxide, methane, some CFC chlorofluorocarbon, uh, some uh, even water vapors also causing the this uh, greenhouse gases. Why it is called greenhouse gases? It is occurring as greenhouse gases, but again it is harmful to the earth. So I will explain that. Suppose there is, there is a building and around it there is a glass house. So what it does, it protects the uh, building from the sun, sun, solar energy. So when solar energy falling into the building, it will penetrate through the glass and fall into the building and we get the warmth. But in the night, earth radiates the energy. Again, it will release some heat and it will hit the glass. Again, it will reflect back to the house. Then still night also it is keeping the cool. So this is the way our earth cooling, uh, making the temperature in the night also. The similarly, above the earth, in the atmosphere, there are greenhouse gases layer like carbon dioxide, methane, all this. As long as they are in uh, the balanced manner, earth don't have any problem. But it is increasing day by day because of the industrial pollution, human activity, burning the oil, burning the diesel. So this is the reason 
the temperature in the greenhouse gas is increasing and the what same same effect will happen greenhouse gas also from solar energy it cross the uh, greenhouse gases and falling into the earth earth is like a plant and when this radiates it goes back it radiates to the space and it will go beyond the atmosphere it will hit the uh, greenhouse gases and again reflect back so the greenhouse gas is trapping the energy and keeping the earth more and more warm so more greenhouse gases more warm on earth so this is the result of the global warming so due to that a uh, lot of ice uh, ice melting and temperature sea level increasing and i write that every 2 degree centigrade in global warming 6 meters of sea level increases if that is a case in another 30 to 40 years definitely we will not have this kind of meeting on the beach side there are many countries india bangladesh bangladesh sri lanka i don't think they would exist anymore so to, to control that then there is a committee there is a uh, council that will control that is the step they have taken worldwide so what it does is that is called as a green building us green building council i don't know how many of heard it read. so what it does it give the certification ratings uh, different ratings based on the emission level at our building it could be building or a school or a institute or it company factory anything so it, it will uh, it will give the some rating like silver and uh, gold and the platinum and how many of you know green building mechanism there are some green building in chennai also there are many are there do you do you ever uh, meet uh, uh, visit uh, any green buildings any green building certified green buildings have you ever visited no okay have you ever visited the uh, anna centenary library visited right that is a green building that is a green building green building is a silver uh, gold rated green, green building that is so likewise there are many green building even some of the it sectors in mysore uh, pune vipro tcs they are all having some green, green green building rated buildings so there in that area carbon dioxide emission nitrous oxide methane even water the way you use the water energy and uh, uh, electricity so it is all in the certain limits based on the limits us green building council uh, put some points based on the points we will get the uh, silver or gold or platinum i will disclose some interesting facts uh, later and meanwhile i would like to call general evaluator for today who is a is the person who is visiting this beach third time from medley post master club and he also said about theme of the day beach meetings are even better and better planet and profit he also said as i fully agree with him as part of my theme of the day it saves the rent reduce the ac use breathe fresh air watch the beach remember there is a planet outside the ac hall i will call upon dtm thomas sir our general evaluator today thank you very thank much good afternoon <laughs> what a nice feeling we must take a photograph before it's late yes, yes. from here with me speaking <laughs> seriously this is lovely this is lovely that the first statement this is the third uh, beach meeting of medley i'm attending I'm very proud of it no one can challenge me for that a record i am not after ribbon so i will not talk about the theme what i had to is already been given i'm only a general evaluator let's move forward we now have three important roles being filled in the tag slot i will start with the timer who is mr prasanna venkatesh ah no 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 okay i think i will go into more details later i'm so sorry uh, i'm an extempore g g just now made so what give my fumble uh, i think i'll go back to uh, you know, your boss and all that later thank you by then it will increase like uh, million as so thank you all the best mr president of english that time up how will you manage so sure. we'll see good afternoon hello to masters and uh, guests as a timer i'll be timing the prepared speeches individual evaluations and uh, table topics Uh, in general, I'll raise uh, green card at the minimum qualifying time, yellow card at the target time, and uh, red card at the maximum time. So, for the prepared speeches, the time limit is uh, five to seven minutes in length. At 
5 minutes, I'll write green card. At 6 minutes, I'll write yellow card. At 7 minutes, I'll write red card. One of the preferred speeches by uh, Postmaster Sindhil requires uh, 18 to 22 minutes in length. At 18 minutes, I'll write green card. At 20 minutes, I'll write yellow card. And uh, at 22 minutes, I'll write red card. For the table topics, the time limit is 1 to 2 minutes in time. At 1 minute, I'll write green card. At 1 minute 30 seconds, I'll write yellow card. At 2 minutes, I'll write red card. For the individual evaluation, the time is 2 to 3 minutes in time. At 2 minutes, I'll write green card. At 2 minutes 30 seconds, I'll write yellow card. At 3 minutes, I'll write red card. Apart from this timing, there is a grace period of 30 seconds uh, before the minimal time and after the end time. So the speaker can take a uh, minimal of uh, less than 30 seconds a lot of time and can take up to maximum of 30 seconds for table topics for table topics alone the speaker has to speak at least one minute and can take up to two minutes 30 seconds with a great figure i request all the speakers to speak within the time thank you over to you thank you very much Dave. that is comprehensive timer now we have the accounter. The accounter, you know him as an affable VPE, but he also knows a few languages. He knows Spanish, you all know that. He speaks English, he speaks Tamil, he speaks Oriya, to say the least. So, on waste segregation, he has demonstrated that at home. That's his credential for Planet Over Profit. Over to you. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. As an accounter, it is my responsibility today to listen to all the speeches and note down the crush words and filler words like uh, so, any repeating words like you know, I see, so, and I will report them when I have been called upon by the G. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you very much. Now we have the grammarian. She is a practicing dentist, academician, wife of a Supreme Court lawyer. I'm so sorry. This is, uh, okay, I'm so sorry. Where did I get it wrong? Okay, for the timer, we now have appropriately brought together a team of the mother and the children because she tells mother and child stories so beautifully because she tells them from the heart. Over to you, Dr. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good afternoon. As grammarian, it is my responsibility to place, pay close attention to the all speakers, listening carefully to their language usage. I will take note of any misuse of, of English language as well as any outstanding words, quotes, phrases, sayings or thoughts. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word of the day is mirthful or cheerful. My sons were mirthful when I told the meeting is in Midli. A meeting is in the beach and uh, I am sure after this meeting, all will feel Mirthful. So today's me, uh, word of the day is mirthful. I encourage all of you to use the word of the day and I will submit my report at the end of the meeting when the GE calls for it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am sorry uh, for the mistake. Uh, uh, I just got the fact coming together. So there we are. You heard the tag, their uh, responsibilities. I will do my job of looking at things, reporting when I am called upon to do so. Over to you, back to Chia Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on to prepared speech session. The first speaker. Today our first speaker is, who is a chartered accountant by profession, a knowledge seeker and a family man. About the theme of the day, he says, profit is important, planet is necessary. Let's have perfect balance between both. Postmaster Raj is giving speech on leadership development pathway level 1, project 3, 
introduction to vocal variety and body language. I would like to call upon his evaluated Toastmaster Pravada to read about speech objectives. A pleasant evening to my dear fellow Toastmasters and guests. Toastmaster Rajesh Shahu is attempting his level 1, project 3, introduction of vocal variety and project and body language. The purpose of this project is to practice vocal variety or body language to enhance speech. The time limit is 5 to 7 minutes. All the very best, Toastmaster Rajesh. Over to team. Thank you, Toastmaster. <coughs> Toastmaster Rajesh, the journey, the journey, Toastmaster Rajesh. <coughs> Imagine yourself in a long train journey surrounded by unknown co-passengers. The snoring of someone is not letting you sleep. The unpleasant smell of the food is hovering inside the compartment. How would you feel? Good afternoon, Toastmaster of the day, fellow speakers and friends. I generally prefer to travel by flight over train. Obvious reason being, the journey of 20 to 24 hours can be covered in just one to two hours. Also, if I do a cost-benefit analysis, then the extra cost incurred for the flight <coughs> can be compensated with the number of hours saved in the journey. Recently, I had to travel to my hometown in Odisha. Flight tickets were you know, very costly due to Christmas and New Year holidays. <coughs> After my cost benefit analysis, I had no other I mean, choice to select the train over the flight. I, I got apprehensive about the travel since <coughs> it's a long journey and I seldom travel by trains. In that apprehension, I packed all my you know, medicines for stomachache, headache in a box. On the other hand, my daughter was so excited. As usual, my wife was busy in packing the luggages and ensuring everything is loaded. The train Bhuvaneswar Express started from Chennai Central on the eve of Christmas. Couple of Odia families were our co-passengers. Initial half an hour or so, we all were busy in settling our luggages at the best available space. As you may be aware, in a train journey, there is always a comparison between the number of tickets you have and the number of baggages you carry and sometimes it ends up in argument. Fortunately, you know, nothing of that sort happened this time. After some time, we started to speak, uh, speaking with each other. Then our kids started playing with each other. And slowly, everybody started opening their snacks and lunch boxes. Honestly, I had the privilege of having varieties of dishes after a long time. Otherwise, my wife's street cooking rule, one gravy, one fry, and some you know, salads. That's it. <laughs> now, journey became started interesting. I had my companion, my books, which I could read when others were resting. Believe me, as for me, there is no other best place than a train to read a book. I could complete a major portion of the book, which I would have otherwise taken almost one week at, at my home. <coughs> While I was indulging in reading the book, I could not realize when it became evening from afternoon. The aroma of the hot aloo bonda, samosa and masala tea 
filled in the compartment with cravings for food lovers. Myself being one of them, how could I resist the hot samosas? And a pantry boy selling water bottle and other beverages and calling water bottle, pani bottle, you know, and then gave me the same memory of all my you know, previous trend, trend journeys. It is nostalgic. Our, our conversations with the co-passengers co included varieties of topics starting from our children's education, our daily lives in Chennai, our professional lives. And I you know, got some very good insights about you know, consulting in a, in a big firm from the gentleman sitting near to me. By now, everybody was enjoying the journey. The announcements had, had various platforms in different languages, starting from Tamil, Telugu, and then Odia, were giving me a sense of approaching home. Beautiful feeling it was. The chilled winter of Odisha welcomed us at morning 6 a.m. in Bhuvaneswar railway station. The local guy selling newspaper, the argument of the Ottawalas in the local language, those were giving me a sense of homely feeling, which I used to have 14 years back before shifting over to Chennai. In contrary to my apprehension, this train, train journey turned out to be the best one. I need not open my medicine box. I could complete my you know, favorite book. My you know, daughter learned my Mandela art from one of our train friends. My wife was happy. I got some different perspective about life from the conversations which I had. We all were happy and mirthful and you know, carrying, sorry, carrying beautiful memories. Next time I plan to travel, we'll definitely consider the Indian Railways. Thank you and uh, thank you to the <coughs> yeah, It's really a beautiful uh, speech for me because I keep traveling to Hyderabad to meet my family almost uh, every month. So I see all these newspaper, water bottles, samosa. So I'll recollect that. Thank you, Toastmaster Rajesh. Now let's move on to second speech. The speaker. The Toastmaster Jagan giving speech on visionary communication pathway, level one, project three, introduction to vocal variety and body language. I would like to call upon his evaluator, Toastmaster Ranga, to read out the speech objectives. Toastmaster Jagan is going to give a talk, a uh, speech on visual and communication level 1, project 3, open variety and body language. The purpose of the the purpose statement states that he will give a speech to practice using vocal variety or body language to enhance the speech. Time up, please note that the time limit is uh, five seconds. Toastmaster Jagan uh, is a software developer of a profession, passionate about the coding and uh, making music. When I ask about the theme of the day, it's doubtful if a human civilization ever existed without profits, which is a tool for distribution of the income. I would say people over profit he is preferring. So with that, I will call Toastmaster Jagan. She said yes. She said yes. Toastmaster Jagan. The world stopped at that moment. 
the hands of the clock all across the globe stood in attention. The sea waves that accumulate so much foam and effervescence conjured up the courage to stand top of their sine waves. The neighbor, my neighbor, was 45 degrees into beating the chapati dome. The trees made a gigantic pose and the breeze ceased to flow. A wave of joy flooded me, a type I rarely experience. I wish I had eight more eyes to admire her blushing. Good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and friends. It all started in the 700th Medley Milestone meeting. Does anybody remember it? A lot of hands. Nine of us, nine of us were on the stage singing the medley anthem in chorus. I roamed around Chennai, made some calls, negotiated the price and bought this ganjira for that performance. It is this ganjira that my younger niece fell in love with. Every time she came home, she wanted to get her hands on this and play. Every time. The incident happened on a Sunday afternoon. I have a strict rule at home. You can play any musical instrument you want, but you must wash your hands before. Simple. Not too much to ask, correct? When you bring in the kids, it becomes too much to ask. My younger niece always poking around the house at anything and everything. That afternoon was no different. My younger sat across the hall on the sofa with a book in her hand. My younger niece barged, barged in and said, Jagan, I need that, pointing to the ganjira. Have you washed your hands, Samirana? No, Jagan, she hasn't. Pragnya screamed from across the hall. Have you washed your hands, Samirana? I don't know if it's any sibling rivalry, but my elder niece was keen on convicting my younger one. Have you washed your hands, Samirana? I asked for the third time. She said, yes, Jagan, I've washed. I knew she hasn't washed her hands. I acknowledged my elder niece who was sitting across the hall. I told her, Samirana, I trust you. Here's your ganjira. She picked it up. Before unwrapping the newspaper, she raised her head, looked at me and blushed. The world stopped at that moment. The trees, the birds, the sea waves, the breeze ceased to flow. A wave of joy flooded me, a type I rarely experience. I wish I had eight more pairs of eyes to admire her blush. I took her to the wash basin, held her wash her hands and gave back the ganji. That, my dear friends, is the power of trust. How often as a child have we felt only if our parents trusted us? Growing up, I was a passive observer of family affairs. My sister, on the other hand, was an active participant in it, most of the time as a victim. The incident happened just after I was born. On the way to the hospital, she and her grandmother had come to visit me. Before coming to visit me, she had seen a pair of shoes which she liked. She wanted them, we couldn't afford them, so she stole it. Days passed. After I came home, as a small tiny infant, my mother noticed the new pair of shoes. She inquired about it. After inquiring, my sister told that our grandmother bought it as a gift. Now, as a newborn child, I was screaming all the way throughout as though I wanted to convict my sister. I don't know if there was any sibling rivalry back then. I was very small. My mother found out the truth somehow. After school, she took her daughter into the kitchen, even after resistance, strong resistance from her brother, her uncle. She picked up, this everybody knows, she picked up a dosa turner. I had to translate this, it's called Karandi in Tamil. It's a dosa turner, as shiny and clean as a silver. Switched on the stove, heated it until it showed some shades of coal black. You stole the, you stole the shoes now, Ramya, you stole the shoes. 
Tell me the truth. You show, you stole the shoes. Tell me or else. That day, truth did come out. Of course, my mother, she had her own reasons. Postpartum depression, maybe. Her husband near, not nearby, maybe. Sole bread earner of the family, maybe. All worldly pressures on her, maybe. But a bond was broken. A happiness one could call home was damaged. And a young girl's heart was smashed, smashed and shattered into smithereens. That, my dear friends, is the power of a lack of trust. Isn't it then a no-brainer to trust our children? Trust them in mundane day-to-day -day activities. Trust them their intelligence. Trust them and make them part of running the household. Nobody told my younger niece to tell the truth. But how then it was implanted in her head to react the way she did? Most of the time we assume our children to be passive observers. But parents here, for sure, for a fact, for certain, know that they are far from that. Whether a lover saying yes, or a child admitting its mistake, all boils down to one thing, trust. Honesty, over a period, transforms into deep-rooted trust. And it is trust that provides a space for love, and truth. Shouldn't we be catalysts to spread love and truth? Shouldn't we be Toastmaster of the day? Thank you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Yes. I really fall in love with your uh, family affairs, how you are observing day to day. They are uh, all over near and dear. Thank you. And uh, now let's move on to the third speaker of today. Third speaker is a member in Barclays. Chennai Toastmasters Club. He is in the Toastmasters for 1.3 years now. When I asked him about the theme of the day, he said uh, it has begun already. The planet has shown all the warning signs for the past two, two, two decades. We don't listen and the planet is not going to be uh, quiet anymore. The Sendilis, Toastmasters Sendili is giving a speech on presentation mastery pathway, level 5, project 1. Prepared to speak professionally. I would like to call upon his evaluator, Toastmaster Saravanan, to read out the speech objectives. Thank you, Toastmaster. Am I audible? Am I visible? <laughs> 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 so, Toastmaster Central is giving his speech on presentation mastery. Prepare to speak professionally. Prepare to speak professionally. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice developing and presenting a longer speech. A longer speech. You have to wait for 18 to 22 minutes to complete. Timer, please note the time. All the best. Toastmaster Sindhil, what do you believe in? What do you believe in, Toastmaster Sindhil? Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. A student must have a belief. A student must have a dream. Those are the foundation blocks of building this nation. Any guest who has said this quote? That's right. It's Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam in one of his books, A Vision for a Mission. About 120 years ago, in the state of Illinois, the United States of America, there was this small kid attending his early school. As most of you know, the education system in that part of the world would demand the kid to come forward in their classes and do formal and informal speeches quite often. But this kid, he had a problem with that, anxiety problem. So he get nervous, uncomfortable at their stage, and even at times gets painted. With much of a struggle, he was able to finish his early schooling, but when he entered his high school, it was too much for him. He was not able to take it, so he dropped out from the school and joined YMCA. During his time in YMCA, he realized that his anxiety problems has indeed started to proceed when he is communicating with a familiar audience. So he formed a small group and started working on his speaking skills. And it did wonder for each one of the members inside the group. So this group that he formed started to spread outside YMCA into the state of Illinois and in the next few years to the entire United States of America. And today it spread all around the world with more than 145 nations being the members. And members of the club 
thousands of them all around the world. I'm sure you all know who it is I'm talking about. It's Ralph C. Smedley and it is the Toastmasters International, the forum that he started about 100 years ago. We are all connected here and we are here to improve ourselves, to improve our communication skills, speaking skills and leadership skills so that we can ascend in the ladder of our life. But as we keep growing in our life, certain beliefs that we get into or certain beliefs that we fall into can pull us all the way down the ladder. Now these beliefs, these are really powerful things. But tricking somebody into a belief, that's not difficult. I have my own experience. I was doing my engineering second year. It was a semester of holidays for me and I was at my home. My mom suddenly called me up and said, hey, the washing machine is not working. Why don't you just check that? I went there. I did a reset, switch off, switch on. The standard engineer's protocol, it did not work. My mom was looking at me. She said, I tried that already. I said, it's an engineer's protocol. I have to do that. Then I went through the manual. The manual said the same thing. Reset, switch off, switch on. If it is still not working, call the customer care. So I called the customer care. The technician came in and guess what? He followed the same protocol again. Reset, switch off, switch on. It did not work. By then my mom came in and told them, look, I found this piece of metal in the drum. Do you think it has got something to do with that problem? He saw that it's just a rusted piece of scrap. It has got nothing to do with it. He handed it back and he told like this board that has gone faulty. So you got to replace this board. Now I got curious, engineer. So I asked him, are you talking about the PCB that controls the motor, the pump and all the controls? He looked at me. Seemed to be quite knowledgeable. Are you an engineer? No, no, I'm just doing my engineering second year. But you are quite an engineer already. Complimented me and I was smiling at my mom. Heard that? Then he said, it's going to cost you 4,500 rupees for the replacement, but I got a better deal for you. I will give you an AMC for 4,500 rupees. I will get the board replaced immediately. And also you will get a cover for the entire one year. It sounded like a perfect deal for me. But my mom, smart lady, she was not convinced. She said, okay, I will let you know. She sent him back. Then she called another technician who came in. And no, this time it was not his pro protocol to do that. He saw the status of the machine and he immediately asked, did you find a magnet? I told him we didn't find a magnet. But we did find a piece of metal, I showed it to him, he said it's a magnet. And he placed it right in front of the door and the machine started to run. He said all that you need to do is just stick this magnet on the door so that the machine senses the door is closed and it will start to run. There is no other problem. He left. He looked at the story. The first technician who came in, he has identified the fault already, but he wanted to make some money. And for that, he has to convince his customer. And the easiest trick that he pulled off is to give me a compliment to take me into his confidence but it could be the same point where it didn't work with my mom as i said she's a smart lady she knows me better than him she is compliment he is complimenting me as quite an engineer but she knows who i am right so maybe that's where it did work with her but it did work with me as i said it's quite easy to trick somebody into belief now, I know what you might be thinking. This is just a matter of 4,500 rupees, not something that can pull you all the way down the ladder. Right. That's why I got an uncle's story. Now, this uncle, he's a distant relative of mine, and he got retired from his government job. A few weeks later, a real estate agent approached him and told him, look, there is this 2 BHK apartment coming up in a prominent location in the city. It is up for sale, and a metro station is just being approved. An international school is running close by and a mall is also under construction in the vicinity. It's a fixed price, 45 lakh, no negotiations allowed. And there are two people lined up with me already, but I don't want this to get into the hands of some anonymous people. I want you, the owner. And trust me, even today, it can easily fetch 20,000 rupees as a rent. And you have got just two days to decide because the owner of the property, he is leaving the country in three days. He has left. My uncle couldn't sleep for the next two days and eventually he bought the apartment and then the metro link never really came. The international school is closed, poor attendance, the mall is still under construction. With much of a difficulty, he was able to find a tenant for just 10,000 rupees. One belief. One belief that, put, that has put all his investment, lifetime of investment into a lot. Oh, this is not convincing for you. I got a better story. A friend's story this time. She was a colleague of mine. She was working as an operations head in one of the MNC in Kochi. 
let me use some pseudo names here. Her name is Kavita and she had a friend named Prati. Now Kavita's professional life was all fine, but her personal life was going through a bit of a turmoil. Her husband lost his job, got addicted to alcohol and started borrowing money quite often. So all the money that she makes goes for her monthly expenses plus meeting the money that he borrows. Of. It was by the time Pradeep appeared in the scene and Pradeep told her, Look Kavita, I know what you are going through. It's quite difficult, I know that. But I got a way out for you. I'm into a business. All you need to do is just invest some money into the business as you do in any business and then you will get unlimited access to our premium products. And you can sell these products to any of your friends and relatives and you will, you will make nice money and it's not just all of it. You can also refer more people into the business and as more and more people keeps coming into the business and more and more investment they make, you will keep getting more and more money. Now if these lines are pitched in front of any one of you, you would immediately say, get out of here. I know what it is you are talking about, it's money chain, you are already into it, you are trying to pull me in. So that's not exactly how he did it and this is how he pulled it. Kavita, hi, how is life going? Pradeep, you know it's a long story for me. I know that, I know that, we are in the same league. But by any chance, have you checked my social media handle last week? Well, Pradeep, I noticed that I saw some of the photographs of you in Singapore, but how did you even manage it? with all the financial crunch you have got. That's the trick, Kavita. I'm into a business now, and this business is simply doing magic in my life. And you know what? My boss is coming from Singapore, and he will be here next week, and we are having a small gathering in Marriott. Why don't you join us there? We will have more detailed conversation, and you will also get a chance to meet him. Pradeep, you know, I'm okay with all the things, but I can't really afford Marriott, you know that, right? Hey, it's fully sponsored by my business. You are going to be my guest, don't worry about it. Just come and join, it's a Friday evening. I don't think it should be a problem for me. Kavita obliged. Being a Friday evening at Marriott, who would say no? As she went there, it was a good gathering of 20 to 30 people, all waiting for that one person to arrive. And this man, he appeared on stage, well-dressed in business formals, and he started running his presentation. A roadmap where the company was about 10 years ago and where it is today with branches all across the world, with business partners all around the world, thousands of them, and following that, the quarter results, the profits, the turnovers, extraordinary figures, and following that, he got testimonials, testimonials of people who had quit their corporate jobs from Fortune 500 companies and then joined the business and achieved their lifetime goals in a couple of years. Luxurious apartments, luxury cars, international trip with families. It has got photographs of everything all around the presentation. And at the end, he announced the annual bonuses for each of the business members inside that room, including Pradeep, and it was all six-digit numbers. Kavita couldn't believe what's happening in that room. By then, the session wind up for a dinner. A full-fledged buffet dinner in Maria. Kavita was clueless going around from table to table. Pradeep came around and said, Hey Kavita, come. I will introduce him to you. Pradeep, I really don't understand what's happening here. What do I even talk to him? You don't need to do anything. Just come and say hi and hello. You will not get a second chance to meet him. He's such a nice person. As they both approached him, he turned around. Hey Pradeep, so that's Kavita, right? Kavita is blown away. Don't get surprised, Kavita. Pradeep shared your profile to me. I have gone through it already. It's really interesting. You have got good qualifications, great experience, good leadership skills, and also I could see that you have got a great personality. You know, the typical qualities that I have been looking out for. Come here. You see, all those people out there, they don't even possess half the potential of what you have got. But they have all achieved their financial freedom today. Do you know how? They have just joined the business one year ahead of me. Look, I am looking out for somebody here in Kochi who can be the face of this business here, who can take this business from here to where I wanted to see it in the near future. And that needs somebody with a good experience, good leadership skills, and some serious potential. And I see that potential. You are coming in for our Dubai trip, right? Sir, I haven't even joined the business yet. Pradeep, 
I'll give you just two days of time. Okay, get her paperwork done, get her on board. I want to see her in Dubai. Kavita, I've got great plans for you. We'll talk in Dubai. Okay, now enjoy it. Keep moving. And now you know what would have happened. Kavita borrowed six lakh rupees money. She invested into the business. She was not able to sell any of those premium products because they were all substandard. Nobody was ready to buy that, and she was not able to bring in more people into the business either. Left with no option, she poached her own team. Eight of them who directly reports to her. She convinced them to invest into the business. They all invested their money. One year down the line, nobody was able to get any money out of the business, and they have all lost their money. Just one year. Everything is gone. All the contacts are lost. Nobody from the business related to the business, associated to the business. Nobody was there. Everybody disappeared. One billion. A well-educated woman with great experience working in a corporate who knows the world the way it is. Still, one belief took everything away from her. A family of 11 members in Noida. A grandmother, two couples, a single mother and their children. Daughters and sons studying in colleges and schools. Three generations, a joint family, a beautiful family in the entire neighborhood. They had no problems at all. They had great financial background, had their own property, no problems in their medical either. So it was all running smooth for them. But somewhere along the line, with the religious practices that they were following, somewhere down the line, they got into a belief that if they give up their life on an auspicious day, on an auspicious time, their soul can directly reach their God. And they would be cut off from this infinite cycle of rebirth. And this belief got so deep into them that they decided to give up their life on an auspicious day in their own home. Eleven members of the same family, three generations of them, gave up their life in their own home. And it happened in our own country, in Noida, about four years back. Another family, a husband and wife in Kerala about a year ago, they got in contact with a black magician through Facebook. And this guy, he convinced them that if you offer the goddess with blood, she will shower you back with treasures of gold. They got convinced to that idea. And they found a lady, slaughtered her in their home, did the puja, and nothing came out. He convinced them again, saying that the puja didn't went well last time, we have to redo the puja. They found another lady slaughtered in their home, did the puja, nothing came out. They were in hunt for the third person. It was by then, the police intercepted them and arrested them. During the investigations, it came out that they even cooked the, some of their body parts and consumed them, thinking that it would appease the God. One belief. One belief that convinced somebody to invest his lifetime of earning into something that doesn't even he understood clearly. One belief that convinced somebody to borrow money that she doesn't even had in her hand and invest into a business thinking that it would fetch her financial freedom. One belief that convinced somebody to give up their own life and one belief that convinced somebody to take others' life. As I said, the belief is so powerful beyond any of our imagination. If you look at it from an other angle, money is always at the center in most of these cases. And if you are thinking this is all about money, no, you didn't get it. That's not the complete story. It's not always about the money. There are people out here in this planet who would just appear in front of you. Start with a quote that you have never heard of that may contain skew words like student, dream, nation building that will directly point you towards a person like APJ Abdul Kalam and the moment you spell out his name, he will immediately acknowledge you, make you feel happy and in that process convince the entire audience that it is in fact a quote set by APJ Abdul Kalam from a book that doesn't even exist and then go on and narrate a story of the very founder of this Toastmasters International, Ralph C. Smedley, which may sound authentic given that the timeline matches the location, state of Illinois matches, and then YMCA matches with the authentic content, but in turn, the entire story could be a good luck one. But what did he get out of it? Did he get any money? No. All he got was a sheer pleasure of standing in front of such a good audience and able to pull it off right in front of him. And it matters to him. So, if something is giving you goosebumps, something is making you feel so good, something that you're coming across for the first time in your life and it is being told as a lesson on secret, 
a limited time deal, once in a lifetime opportunity. Before you jump on to it, think. Know what exactly it is. Understand it. Authenticate it. Verify it. Think what could be the worst of the worst consequences that may come out of it. And then, if you have the appetite to take that risk, go on and take it. Now, what do you believe in, fellow Toastmasters and guests? I gave a lot of examples about believing, but recently it happened in my home the same thing. The geyser was uh, not working, I called the electrician. He came and looked at it and uh, he was uh, saying that uh, just replace the inlet pipe, that will dissolve. But I told him the inlet pipe, there is a latch uh, switch, it will uh, protect the reverse water flow. I asked him to change it because it got rust. But he said he changed the uh, uh, inlet pipe, he went. After two days, again it burst. Then I, I called him. Then he called another electrician. Then I asked him, you said uh, uh, this latch is not a problem. Then he said, he is a plumber, he was not an electrician. <laughs> then the electrician said, that was the problem because of that now coil also damaged this two days. So he went, we went to repair the servicing showroom. There uh, I paid almost 3,000 rupees. So what do you believe in? You believe in. Thank you, Tosma Sendit. And now, uh, can I ask timer? Can I ask timer, uh, announce the qualified speaker? The qualified speaker is Toastmaster Rajesh, Toastmaster Jagannath. Toastmaster Rajesh, Toastmaster Jagannath, qualified. For the voting. So, next, before we move into the uh, further, uh, now we will move to the table of session. To conduct the session, we have a passionate postmaster and a mentor, and he is also a mentor, and uh, we are playing these roles even last week also and this week also both mentor and mentee and uh, I would invite Toastmaster Sundaration sir to conduct the table topic session. Thank you. In my hereditary, we, we don't own the beaches at least. We are generous enough to give the beach. I'm totally happy. One more benefit from it, yes. It's a nice gathering. Uh, grammarian, it's a mythful gathering. Really, I'm cheerful. A lot of enthusiasm slowly float, floating around. It's a different environment. Let's enjoy. <coughs> As a table topic master, there is only one request with me, from me. Be with me and speak from your heart. This is not a contest. This is not inside the hall. Feel free. Even if you, if you don't, if the words are not flowing, see the beach automatically. The words will flow and share your thoughts. That's my request. Let's make a great table topic session, a memorable one. I'm, going, I'm ready with few topics. Yeah, keep going. Um, I'll tell the topic, whoever, let's change the thing, normally we call and we give the topic, I'll give the topic, just rush here and uh, start speaking, I want everyone to be involved today, agree? I want everyone to get involved, just rush here, raise your hand and come, just raise your hand, Any? I'll keep on giving the topic, I do have 100 topics here. Okay, starting with, we are in this location, so I'm starting with waves, share your thoughts. Waves, share your thoughts. Those, yes. President, please. <laughs> we will involve everybody today. <laughs> waves, share your thoughts. Timer, please take care. Let me look at this beach first and then whether I get the waves to speak about waves. Okay, so waves. Uh, it, it's kind of an important aspect is what I think about uh, when we talk about waves. Uh, first thing is that you would see waves in the hospital. You would see some machines sitting around in the hospital and then you would see the waves going to the second floor. 
with like, the, all the like uh, doctors and then the, uh, the relatives and family would be closely monitoring those days. So we have to be very clear about what we follow in life so that we don't get into the situation where people are like monitoring our ways in that instrument. And next is about connecting with people. Right? So when we meet people, we, are, we all uh, go through some challenges in making them understand about ourselves and also understand about them. So we need to genuinely connect with people, have a conversation in such a way that we understand each other and the ways are flowing in the right manner between the people we connect and we get engaged in life. And the finally, like I would say about family, right? So we have family is something that very near and close to all of us. So we need to ensure that we play the role that we are expected to play and so that the ways are connected properly within all the near and dear ones in the family. Thank you. Let's create waves in medley. I'll make your life easy. Uh, the next topic will be for our. Uh, what? You can, you can yeah, no, okay. will choose. Everyone. That's Everyone. Why he's the teaching master. Yes, our gymnasium sports person. Please. <laughs> yeah, come No problem. The beach. Your teenage memories. The beach. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. So whenever I see the beach, I still remember my teenage workouts where we complete our workout and we have to walk for 5 kilometers. That was the best moment and worst moment of my life because after completion of that 5 kilometers walking, both the legs, if you don't feel uh, two of your legs and you will be having pulling pain given your abdomen as well. So that was kind of very, very much life-changing uh, days. And lately when I started to <coughs> uh, train people, when I share my experience, it was, it was, it was kind of a cherishing moment, okay. very much experienced moment. So whenever I see the beach, I always see life-changing things. And I see those days uh, like crazy. I haven't used with any other uh, things, so that's the uh, connection I can connect with. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Toastmaster. Uh, yes, Madam Toastmaster or guest, I don't know. Guest and... Uh, please, please, join us. Join us. No problem. Your good name, ma'am? Praveena. Praveena. Madam to Toastmaster Praveena. A gift you have received. A memorable gift you have received. A memorable gift that I have received. I have received, I am receiving and I will continue to receive for as long as I am alive. Any guesses? Breath. Breath. It's because I am breathing, I am taking one breath at a time. It's a perfect gift that one can ask for because only then will you be able to enjoy anything and everything that you see, touch, feel. The experiences that the Toastmaster was talking about, the wonderful Ganjira, the beats, and the various musical instruments that we would like to enjoy, the other GOTV speeches, anything and everything can be done only when there is a breath. Having said that, that is the main thing that we can ask for. After the major gift of breath has been given, what is the other thing that I find memorable or the best gift? It is nature at its best. The wonderful beach, the wonderful surroundings, the wonderful fresh air. No matter we have gadgets with us or however advanced we become scientifically, there is nothing like nature. Because even now, we enjoy coming to the beach, we enjoy the sound of waves, we enjoy the pitter-patter of the rain, 
the first cyclone experience that I experienced after having come from Muscat was a wonderful feeling. And guess what? We never get tired of anything that nature gives us. So over and about the breath, which is helping me to enjoy, yes, it is the nature at its best, which is a memorable gift for all of us, not only just me. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your flow of words. Keep going. And uh, Adam Tos Master Rano, just uh, one friendly topic only, ma'am. A memorable help you have done profession wise. A memorable help you have done profession wise. I know you are a doctor. That's Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. The memorable gift which I have done in my profession is to Dr. Prouda. Few years uh, ago, she conducted a program called Spoke in her department, and voluntarily I went and took photograph for that uh, program. And I was with her from morning to afternoon, and I was running and taking photograph and uh, special moments of the speakers and the doctors from outside and the students and with enjoyment. And uh, one of the doctor from outside, her uh, professor, he asked. Oh, you have female photographer in your uh, college. So it was a special uh, moment for me and I enjoyed uh, taking photography everywhere. In Medley or in my college or during my family function. But one problem is in my family function, my sons will overtake me. They will not give camera to me, so they will take over. In other situation, wherever possible, even I am not a professional photographer like uh, our Thomas sir. But I like photography and I will enjoy and I will utilize the chance whenever I get it. Thank you. Thank you. Our uh, DPM Kalyan Sundar, please. Uh, I'll give something a uh, poetic line. It's an easy thing, sir. Footprints on the sand. Footprints on the sand. Oh, it was my DPM Kalyan Sundar. In our life, we would have heard about a lot of celebrities, freedom fighters, or the great men who have left the footprints. And we think that we are all small souls and we don't have to offer anything for the world. But what I feel is that each one of us, we have got a hidden potential. Unleashing your potential, that is the best gift done for our family members and surroundings. For example, I see a lot of senior Toastmasters, definitely most of them they would have given more than 40 speeches, why not bring out them in the form of a book? So that is what I have done. So in my 60th birthday, I wanted to give a return gift for all my guests. What I did was, I thought of, uh, I, I was thinking for a thoughtful gift. Finally, I decided that uh, why not I take out all my blog posts and then put it in the form of a book and then came out with a book printed on demand concept. That means you can print any copies at any any time so you don't have to pay a premium price for getting this printed so finally i decided to print 150 copies and then finally handed over them two versions one on my stories and then poems and then second volume on all my book reviews and travelogues etc and my guests thoroughly enjoyed it and whenever uh, when you come out with a physical copy of the book this is going to be lasting for at least 10 or 15 years and probably one day when I meet someone guest, they may recall me and say, hey, you have brought out that book, I still have a copy. So in 2005, I brought out a book. So that was all about the Sini song. So even today, many people call me and say, do you have a copy? Can I come and uh, take a copy from you? I think that this is one of the best ways to leave the footprint on the sand of your timeline. So I think as Toastmasters, we are all creative people and we have script. And if you at all, if you require any help, I can help you to bring it out in the form of a nice book. Go through them. Great. Thank you, sir. Our good wishes also to you. Um, nicely arranged this meeting. Thanks to XCOM. One topic for VP Education XCOM. Please, come and join. This is my favorite line today I brought for table topic session. I'm giving you as a topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be the reason for someone's smile. Be the reason today for someone's smile. As soon as I heard this topic, it reminds me, January 16th, 
first time in our parenthood, me and my wife, we left or we sent our elder son Rago for an excursion, school excursion. So we, I, I went to drop him off at our Chennai Centre. He was going to Kupam, the uh, town near uh, Ozo. So there were around 150 students from his school and could guess around 299 parents standing there. I am the only father, otherwise all parents, mom and dad, they came. So it was fully crowded, two bogies were full and there was one blind person. She was walking towards the compartment. Ours was the last uh, reserved compartment, the next one was the undeserved. It was fully crowded, there is no space even for us to walk. And this guy, he was walking with his walking stick and he was finding it very difficult. It was almost another five more minutes he needs to reach there. And everyone was saying to move this way, that way, but nobody was helping him. And I saw that he was struggling and I went and gave my helping hand. And I took him to the undeserved compartment and fortunately I could find one space for him and make him sit there and he thanked me a lot and when he came back my son asked me why you had to go there were a lot of parents standing there why you why did you go i said that instantaneously i felt like i should go and help him and that day when i started going to the chennai central i was worried because i had to get up at four o'clock but when i came back home at 7 a.m i felt something fulfilled in my life thank you Uh, toast marks of Shanmugavel, please. A special round of applause. I think this is going to try for the first time. Table topic. Our new boy, he might have tried. Good. I'll give you the most difficult topic, sir. Okay. Fine. Uh, a special place you have worked in India. A special region place which you have worked in India. Good evening, fellow toast master and guests. Uh, today I feel more the myth, yes, even though I am here to this present that I am residing in Adaya, Prayat, opposite uh, IIT. But uh, after a very long time, today I have the chance to visit. Thank you, my dear Toast Master, for this. Uh, sir, actually, uh, if I want to share that one, I was uh, working in Jammu Kashmir. In the year uh, 2000, uh, 1994, I have caught an interview to appear in interview in Jammu and Kashmir in the month of December. That time it was very much cold. I don't know about the temperature of North India, winter. It will be very, very cold. I have heard, but I don't know. Then I have visited uh, to Jammu and Kashmir from uh, uh, one express that is going from Kanyakumari to Jammu, that is called as Kimsar Express. By that express, I have reached Jammu in the month of December 28th. The date is 28th. It was very, very cold. I didn't expect that much cold it will be. Then uh, I don't know Tamil also. I know, uh, sorry, I know, I don't know the Hindi. I know some uh, few words. Shawal, Pani, Hindi, Nahim, all of those words. <laughs> I have managed and I have got the accommodation also. That day night when I was felt very very cold, uh, tomorrow morning I had to take my interview. But I have the thought that due to the interview I couldn't be able to sleep. But the uh, cold is not allowing me to sleep. So in the early morning, 5 o'clock, I have caught up. Then I have gone to the bathroom. In the, uh, I don't know, after 6 o'clock only hot water will be available. I was taking the cold water. That time my health care would come in nearby bathroom. That person also came for the interview. Then I was very happy. Then morning we have gone together for that interview. So I have done my interview very well. I have got the job also in Jambon Kasmi. Thank you very much. Thank you, our Toastmaster. Just now I framed up the topic for you because as a mentor I know you are in JK. So he has spoken comfortably. I wish to hear his P1 speech soon. Okay, that's great. Our guest Kirtana. Something interesting in your school or college camp, something interesting incident in your school or college camp. 
Good evening, uh, fellow Toastmasters and friends. Uh, today it's a very uh, beautiful day. Uh, ocean uh, and it's uh, uh, happy to see all the smiling faces uh, feeling mirthful. So, yeah. And, uh, the camp. Camp, uh, yeah. So, uh, I studied in uh, MIT Anna University. Uh, where uh, we went for an ex uh, ex it's not like an excursion it's a IV so they, uh, there are no uh, camp or uh, any uh, entertainment kind of stuff only study 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 so uh, uh, all our friends uh, we know when we go for IV it is an excursion <coughs> so we planned uh, our uh, IV in uh, uh, Mysore where uh, uh, there, were, there was not much of a plant or uh, anything but uh, uh, we told uh, the uh, uh, principal and everyone that uh, there is a, a power plant is there we are going there for the uh, IV and studies and everything but uh, as soon as we enter uh, Bangalore uh, the, uh, like, uh, our uh, uh, all our college, college boys and uh, they started uh, you know, they, we'll go for uh, some uh, uh, amusement park or somewhere and then uh, we went there so <laughs> and what we convinced our teacher is in the Wanderla there is one uh, power plant engine is there so <laughs> we are going to study that and uh, there uh, then afterwards after uh, Wanderla we went to uh, the original uh, plant which uh, uh, the staffs have arranged and then it was a memorable trip we uh, could not uh, you know like all the lies and everything was uh, that time it looked uh, it looked like very uh, uh, interesting and also uh, it's a very uh, happy moment when i look back into the college days thanks sharing your uh, memorable thing my son also also studied in mit I know what he did in air guard in the name of Ivy. Uh, that's good. But those must are Ranga, please. Something different, a topic for our friend. Yeah, take your own time, please. Whoever is not a role player, I'll give you one more time. Okay. Those must are Ranga. Dance of birds is a poem. Dance of birds is a poem. Birds have this unique ability to uh, to express uh, desire, comedy, or uh, or sadness. Recently, I was coming across uh, a particular sentence where they said that homonyms. It has the same sort of spelling, but it conveys different meanings at different points in time. Seas, seas, and the and the other one I forget. But these words, they are spelled differently, but they have the same intonation when you speak about them. So that is the power of words. And one wrong word anywhere, you say, it could be misunderstood easily and it should give a completely different meaning to people. So, how do we make sure that we speak right always? And the dance of words is very, very important in our life when we have to convey anything in the That's all. Thank you, Dr. Sarvanga. I know you're a great reader with a lot of books. Um, one last topic for our toast, DTM uh, Thomas, sir. Last topic is just the session. Yeah. Timer has given me the message. So, this, if you would like to some, give somebody else who has missed it, uh, anybody has missed it, or shall I go with that? Okay, I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do Given a chance, will you take part in the fight against fake news? Given a chance, will you take part in the fight against fake news? Thank you very much. Nothing can be even more contemporary other than artificial intelligence fake news, the bane of our times. Fake news, the poison that's running through the instrument all of us carry as if it's something dear to us after our heart. Fake news that makes man fight against man. The fight should be against the common enemy, but now we are finding enemies among ourselves. It's 
a shame on human intelligence. Fake news. All of us, all of us want to know the truth and be by the truth. But we become big victims of manufactured fake news. It's so easy. The sad thing is a photograph or a film clip of something that happened in Iran when it is neatly printed in three colors and shown to us it looks so real you think it's from right from New York Times it is shown as something that happened in my backyard so how can I not fight with you you be aware anytime I'll be after you that is a, that is a situation I mean it's so sad but then how, it's so sad that people like us with the same organ same brain can do that and all we can do is to support some of the organizations that are doing very timid attempts for us to touch the touchstone and decide what is truth and what is not. Second thing we can do is not to jump at action when we say something, something that's not very, very right. Give it some time. We ourselves can cool down, find out and then react. Don't act on instinct, study and react. That's the only thing that I think we can do because we want our lives, right? These are powerful elements. So I don't think we can fight those elements directly. All we can do is not to fall prey and not to kill each other. Over. Thank you for carrying your talk, you. sir. Signing off table topic master with this role and with the message, be the reason for someone's smile today. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Sir. Yes. Very good session with the table topic about the theme of the day and beach topics very well covered and I want to put some more words about the theme of the day. In the past, the business was measured by financial performance but now the purposeful leaders discovering they have the power to use their business as a force for good. Achieving commercial success doesn't out of the expense of the planet. So this US Green Bee Council, they introduced LEED, LEED certification program. LEED means leadership in energy and environmental design. They will measure water consumption and sustainable materials and electricity uh, conservation. So these three parameters they will measure and uh, assign the three different uh, certifications, silver, gold and platinum. For silver, there are 40 to 49 points. For uh, gold, 50 to 59 points. And for platinum, 60 to 69 points. Do you ever visit the Chengalpattu? Because I am non local to Tamil Nadu. Because there is a school called ELA Green Building, Green School. That is the first school in the world certified with the platinum. So, there if you happen to visit nearby, maybe you can visit the school and see it. And how many of you know I am working for a company called Grand Force? Very good. That is the first company in India certified with the platinum certification. So, likewise, there are many companies in the India moving towards the green building. We stood third in the world certification of the green building. Behind China in the first and Canada in the second, and we are the third. To conclude, I already explained about the greenhouse, uh, greenhouse uh, gases. Is there any way to, if we can absorb them back, we can neutralize the greenhouse gases? Is there only one way, that is planting the trees. If you plant more and more trees, it can absorb the gas and it will release back the uh, oxygen what we take. It. So, as a, a Meglian or as individual, we can also plan volunteering some com communities, planting some trees, and we can have more and more uh, sessions like this we can save the energy so that way we can contribute and also in our future we can plan uh, volunteering some orphanages because my, my com the company which i'm working also they are planning and they, whatever they part their part contributing the planet for profit so people uh, planet people profit these are sequence three three things people follow first planet health then people safety then only profit these are the these are the measurements this US Green Building Council measure and certified it. Not only companies, even uh, buildings, uh, realtors, they are also following these norms. They make sure that they have enough garden, enough greenery, and uh, 
the, the place which I am staying also called a green acres. They have their own plan, STP, sewage treatment plan. It means zero discharge policy. Whatever the water we use, it will not be thrown out of the community. It will be reused for the planting and different purposes. So likewise, there are many buildings are coming with the green building concept. So with that, and uh, I can uh, conclude. And uh, before uh, handing over to the president, uh, can I ask you to row, uh, row vote for the best role player? General evaluator, go for evaluation. General evaluator. Yes, yes. Oh, sorry. We have an evaluation session. Sorry. Sorry, we have an evaluation session now. Let me call General Evaluator DPM Sambasa to evaluate the tag and the overall uh, meeting. So let me call general evaluator, DTM Sambat sir. Sambat sir. Sorry. That gives me so much more breathing time. Thank you very, very much. Only now I've been called. I didn't lose any time. Because DTM Sambat sir is the first one general evaluator. Thank you very much. I think uh, this place demands that we don't get everything so right. It fits in so beautifully. So, I am back here, as I promised, for the evaluation session. I will straightway get into the evaluations. The first of the evaluators being Toastmaster Pravda. Um, I wrongly ascribed something. So I'm so sorry. We were traveling. We just managed time. It's an excuse, but it's also a truth. So Toastmaster Pravda is a practicing dentist, academician, wife of a Supreme Court lawyer, <coughs> and wife and mother of two teenage daughters, Ilayraja fan too. And as for her claim to fame with the theme of the day, as a, she, what she did was several years back when people didn't know about this, she started using the, you know, the disposable the, the, the waste. She bought herself a needle burning machine, make sure that no urchins, those who you know, go for the waste and the dogs are safe. So very noble for Over to you to evaluate the person. Thank you, General Evaluator. Good evening once again to fellow Toastmasters and friends. An effective speech has three important elements. One is the content or the words that we use. The second is the voice, the tone of the voice. The third is the body language. Though as an evaluator of this particular project, I am advised to evaluate only on the vocal variety and the body language of the speaker. I am irresistible to talk about the content of the speech. What a mirthful journey Toastmaster Rajesh Sahu took us to. Initially, he thought that it would be an apprehensive journey, but it turned out to be more cheerful memorable and one of the best, best of his train journey, not only for him, for his kid as well as for his uh, wife. The words that he used in his speech were simple, lucid and more expressive. But the words that we use in our speech alone will not hold the entire uh, speech. It plays only a part of the communication what we do. The remaining part is played by our voice and the, the voice, the tone and the body language that is used. Regarding the tone of his voice, it was medium and well projected that it was able to reach to the last person of the audience. The clarity of his voice was also perfectly made and he paid full attention to all the points that he spoke till the end of his speech. I like the emphasis that he made, especially when he used words like chilled winter of Orissa. And the best point that I would like to tell is the pause that he gave when he cracked a joke. The, the way he changed the slang when he spoke about the pantry boy and the certain gestures that he made when while opening the tiffin box and the smelling of the aroma of the samosa. 
we all would have enjoyed that and suggestions that i would like to make him make to him is that in project like this he can add where he has to fulfill the vocal variety and body language he can add more of dialogues uh, and direct speeches so that he can act as a different person and make the difference in the vocal variety and one more thing that i learned from toastmasters is that when you speak from the heart the body gestures and the vocal variety automatically comes these are the suggestions i give for him to sum up the entire speech of toastmaster rajesh shahu was a cheerful journey just adding dialogue and making body gesture in a body gestures will make the speech more interesting and effective and i wish him all the very best for the next speech thank you over to the gentleman thank you very much sir to support today's theme let me say this this quotation famous quotation profits are crucial if they are used for the benefit of our planet because there's no planet b can you name who said this this quotation abdul kalam al gore who al gore al gore quite likely but uh, the person who made this quote made this quote is standing next to you the second evaluator for the day inspired by <laughs> toastmaster senthil i tried a con con game i thought i wasn't good at it now i know the con man in me like so as for the speech uh, as for the evaluator you know him as one of the most helpful one of the most humble and one of the most well read people well read and humility go together if you want proof here it is and uh, he is a former president of medley is also the early bird who make sure that the things are ready for the uh, sergeant at arms to upload and start meetings without fail at uh, at 255 over to you to sponsor ranga thank you yeah hi the dean thomas thanks with words just and this could have been a topic for uh, jagan as well my speaker he danced with words he just got up and all of us were mesmerized the way he started have any of you seen the movie tirvali adan there's a song where shivaji ganeshan sings and everything stops and it was exactly like that he brought in all those and i was waiting with bated breath what is he going to say when she said yes i was hoping that it would be a listen girl but yes it was a listen girl a child that he brought in and that was beautiful he had the right intonation when speaking about his elder niece when she said no she did not wash her hands and then the little girl yes i wash you know so he was able to bring out the uh, the softness of the children and also the sibling rivalry very well it was an easy paced speech and flowed gently into our ears we were waiting for more of these to come by uh, when he said smashed there was an emphatic smash and trust he said trust and the moment he said trust we all felt that we should trust more and more and not give give up the trust that we have in people and then he said implanted he used his body language and said that he had implanted the idea or a, or anything for that matter so it was it was beautifully over and uh, a couple of things that uh, i felt that he could have done this when he said scream it was very soft he could have said it with very much scream and then uh he has uh, he was involuntarily leaning in front that was something that i noticed which uh, could have been avoided in in uh, in summary i felt that the speech had the right content the right exact amount of emotions that he wanted to convey and if you if you could take care of uh, being a little bit more emphatic and uh, sort of stand straight to deliver it would have been a, a great speech thank you thank you very well uh, it was my friend the last of the evaluation we want to hear from someone who is a walking testimony of today's theme which is he walks 
minutes if he wants to buy something because he is conveniently placed in the center of Adiyar. It's okay, that's within parenthesis. But the important thing he says that they, they buy, who benefits? The petrol companies don't benefit. Hooray! He benefits the planet. Now this is next to us, next to listen to us. We're going to listen to the immediate past president. No, the immediate past president, and he brought back many of Medley's tested systems back in practice. That's what I remember you for. Right now. Toastmaster Senthil, you are a brave man because not everybody will come out of their comfort zone and present a speech that is true, 22 minute speech in front of an unknown audience. You have done that, so you are a brave man. That's the first thing I liked in your speech. Second thing I liked is the speech technique. You have brought a technique of problem and solution. The problem solution is more of what is the blind belief we have. And then you have come up with the thought process of how to evaluate those thoughts, what to know about those, and then how to think, how to authenticate. These are all profound messages I got from that, and that is a value I got. Second thing I like. Third thing I like is you have given your personal stories. So that is something that you have credibility and trust. The fourth thing I like is how you broken that trust by giving up a twist at the end saying that not all the quotes are from Abdul Kalam or not all the stories are from Rathri Madhi. That's a beautiful twist I would say. You have broken the trust. <laughs> there are four things I like in your speech that is, that is what I told. But there are other four things I see as an opportunity in your speech. Let us talk about that. That's called as secret tips I would say. Tips. T. That is the transition. There are so many stories. I, I found like, I mean, there are eight different things that you have talked about. So I thought you, you would have stick to only three or four. So that your good message at the end will be able to resonate with us for long. Because when you talk about eight stories, at some point of time I was like moving through remote channels for various various TV, TV remote channels, TV remotes, okay? Because it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So you could have looked at that transition person. Second thing I, uh, I see an opportunity here is the impact. The impact is when you connect with the audience. Right? So when you have too many stories, you could have done in such a way that you could have brought in some dialogues. So between Savita and Prati. So you could have differentiated that. That is something that you could have thought about that. That would have connected with the audience much better. Third thing, tips B, face. You are, you are too fast. <laughs> I would say you have 18 to 20 minutes. You have a captive audience. Thank you. I mean, I have raised this from yourself. You have a captive audience over here, and you could have used that 18 to 22 minutes effectively if you have phased your speech in such a way. The fourth tip: silence. Silence is always golden. So you have got some pauses or something so that it will be more interactive. You could have asked questions. Okay, who do you believe? Like, I mean, and then whether you believe in this story or not. So, those kind of stories will also help, and then those kind of questions also will help. So, you have a good moral of the story, but if you had followed these tips, PIPS, you would have been much better. To summarize, I would say, it's a good message that you have brought, you have got good value, you have got good speak technique as well, and you are brave as well. But if you had followed these tips, that would have been much better for us. Over to that. Thank you very much for the uh, advice for the brave man. The next uh, evaluator, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pretty muddled today. Allow me. The next evaluator, I think evaluation is Rover. I'm so sorry. So we're back to tag. I'm so sorry. They have an old debt there, I remember now. So let me have the timers back here and let me repay my debt. My timer today, he practices what we are preaching today by using not using plastic, using glass. He loves coding, he's a software engineer, and he's a ready for fight anything kind of a material, like most materials are. Over to you for the time. Thank you. Uh, good evening, all. So, uh, I report the panel for prepared session. For the prepared speech, Toastmaster Rajesh took 6 minutes 35 seconds, Toastmaster Jagan took 6 minutes 47 seconds, Toastmaster Sindhal took 16 minutes 55 seconds. 
for the table topic session toastmaster dinagaran took 1 minute 45 seconds toastmaster daran took 1 minute 8 seconds guest pravina took 1 minute 53 seconds toastmaster anuradha took 1 minute 10 seconds toastmaster sundar took 1 uh, minute 58 seconds toastmaster venkat session took 1 minute 54 seconds toastmaster shanmugam took 2 uh, minutes 5 seconds guest kirtana took 2 minutes 3 seconds toastmaster ranga took 1 minute 7 seconds and dtm thomas sir took 1 minute 56 seconds for the evaluation session toastmaster proud at took 3 minutes 2 seconds toastmaster ranga 2 minutes 36 seconds toastmaster saravanan took 3 minutes 17 seconds this is a report thank you both thank you very much when we were told that the timer will be uh, ex- surprise i was expecting a sundial or something but we got a more much better accurate reading uh, from you thank you very much for that we move on to the our counter ah that's vp himself thank you as a toastmaster at the end of the session what makes us mirthful when our counter says it was a clean speech so that's the importance of our counter right when a toastmaster becomes a professional public speaker when does he become when he has the expertise and authenticity in what he speaks and when he is confident while facing the audience and when he practices and prepares for the speech what is the measure the only measure that could give him whether he is on track that is the a counter where you could find whether you are progressing in your confidence delivery practice and preparation in today's speech from the our counter report we have three clean speeches guest toastmaster pravina clean speech toastmaster shanmugavel gave clean speech dtm thomas as pt speaker gave a clean speech now there are very close to clean speeches by toastmaster rajesh toastmaster jagan that's it and toastmaster anuradha used one a and one am dtm thomas as general evaluator one so and two a arms venkat palle toastmaster pm modi venkat palle two a one am and one and toastmaster prouda one uh, a and two repeating words toastmaster renga three a and one repeating word toastmaster saravanan two so and one repeating word toastmaster sendil one so and three repeating words toastmaster dinagaran two so four as toastmaster sundar raman had two as toast uh, guest kirtana had five plus as in her speech so and toastmaster renga had one a and one repeating words as a pt speaker so with this i urge as all, i always whenever i play the uh, a counter role please make a note of the a counts of of your every speech whenever you do so that you could see whether you are making progress so make a log of it and track it so i have already shared your all count through your um, whatsapp messages please use it and also make a log of it in the future thank you all thank you very much our all counter is so tech savvy it's like going to a tech savvy doctor before the testing is over you get the result in your home <laughs> deliver one we now have the grammarian oh Good evening once again toastmasters and guest I feel mirthful after seeing the usage of the word by toastmaster Rajesh Agu toastmaster Sundaresan toastmaster Sanmugavel guest Keetana toastmaster Pravda and toastmaster Venkatesh And coming to the phrases and words toastmaster Rajesh Agu used chilled mentor and toastmaster Jagan he used lot of words like shattered smashed mundane infantry screamed 
passive observer, deep rooted trust, postpartum depression, wave of joy. Then coming to Cosmos Descendant, he also used extensive words like authenticate, good bumps, national nation building, intercepted, infinite cycle of rebirth, real impressive, and standard engineering protocol. And Coming to TV, TV session, Tosmas Dinakaran used near and dear, and Tosmas Daran used pulling pain. Yes, Pravina used nature at its best, then pitter patter of rain. Then DTM Kalyana Sundaram used hidden potential, thoughtful gift, read the footprint. Then Tosmas Venkatesh used helping hands. Then to, uh, DTM Thomason, he used repay my debt. Tim Atom. Toastmaster Ranga sir used dance with words and Toastmaster Saravanan used credibility, resonate, silence is always gold. Yes, with this I submit my report and coming to the tip of the day. It's not tip, tips of the day. We usually use anyways. Is it correct? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is wrong. You should use only any way. So any way is the right word to use. Any way you have, uh, we have used so far. So we have, uh, we'll start from today by using any way. Okay. And center. Can you tell me what is spelling for center? C E N T E R. Ask for American English. C N T R E as per British English. Okay, so both are correct. So you can use any English. Then what is the difference between center and middle? In some places we use center, center some is, places uh, for we use center. Middle, yes, middle is for longitudinal. Yes. Correct. So center is a more precise point. More precise point. Like yes, Pravina is sitting in the center of our meeting. And, but middle is not that much precise. It's close to present, but it's not that much. Okay. Like Tosmos Degen, he's in the middle of the meeting. Okay, like that. So with this, I'll finish my report. Thank you, Jimmy. Middle and center, the difference that's been brought out. Thank you very much. Very interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tag. In fact, uh, very surprising in a way, in a way, that in a place like with so many distractions, we could work so efficiently. Nothing was missed. And you know something? Best thing to tell you, kindly look at the time. Kindly look at the, min, uh, the agenda. We are eight good minutes ahead. Kindly consider, do a case study and understand what are the elements that allow us to go ahead of time. Is it, what is it? Is it AC noise? It'll be interesting to me. I mean, I can't believe it. And also, mirthful as we were today, I don't think anybody realized the time. Yes, though there's a test match going on, I don't know what's happening. Still, I'm telling you, this was gripping. This was gripping. A few more details, and since I've been given for five minutes, thank you for the generosity. I'm going to use it in. Oh. Voting answers. Sure. Can we do that? Again, a word for you. Please wait. Technology. Votes without any loss of anything. Economic, economical, whatever. Ecological, no loss, you can vote. Just mention it again, how do we vote? Oh yes, kindly take out your phone. <laughs> Put on the stove. No, seriously, I, I, mean, I could do it, so therefore yeah. all of you could do it. No, no, very therefore, nicely done. the done. guests, they may not have the... Brilliant link. point, I, I know. Yes, point. How do we do? Point, point. I, I have my phone here, so I, can, I have written it down. Okay. I'll share it to sure. one word sure. also counts. No? So I'll share it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but for guests, they may not yeah. have that. Normally, I would say methods matter, the, uh, but here I would say methods don't matter. Do whichever WhatsApp. way you can. Okay. I'm fine. Sorry? Is it WhatsApp resolved? Saying, right? This is not. Don't no, count my time. Right. This is not yeah. my time. This is debate right. time. Yeah. This is debate time. Okay, shall we start? Yeah. Okay. Okay, may I, may I begin or whatever? So first of all, I must tell you, 
whoever did it to find at 250 245 200 square feet of place here with shade there is only one place like that who found it who found it kudos we have the right president seriously i'm telling you number one secondly after we had a little thing about whose shadow is bigger this shadow or my shadow we found this shadow is bigger so peacefully we came and congregated and we, the first applause happened at 255 from that region middle as madam will call but then of course the, the in one in 30 seconds it, the whole thing started from here which is remarkable a new place like this new, very remarkable then the president bent the arrow remember bending the arrow that's a very nice continuity it gave us and uh, he started the meeting crows were crying they had a good lunch we had kids doing their thing families couples wannabe couples all of them milling around but we were full concentration i kept looking around nobody was watching all the colors and all that going around fantastic so today to me if you ask me today was a challenge of at attending you know how attentive we are how focused we are. and also how much of a vocal code we can increase very good test, which you don't get in desert, desert fruits. And we smelt the leaves, other than karel, other than what are the, um, what are the leaves that we have, kire and all that. Some you know, real leaves we could smell. And we had the sea breeze, surprisingly, though it was hot initially, it brought in a tinge of coldness, though the sun was doing its job. And don't forget, the probable sky was blue, I saw. Really, it was blue, it got a bit dull. VP even got a foreign player because the, we were uh, domestic players were short, <laughs> and we got a person who did such a con job. I'm telling you, uh, I've, since it's the second speech of his, uh, I know uh, you know the use of psychology. Fantastic! Uh, all the speeches were so, were so different and remarkable. But for want of time, I'm not going to remark. Then, T. M. Modi, you are an honest man. Why? You never claimed that this team came, so I looked around and I told, convinced sir to have it in the beach. You're very honest. And this deserves such a team as the triple bottom line, which is, which is what it is, right? Three E's, which is ecology, economy and equity. Brilliant. Uh, uh, you know, it couldn't have been fitted any better unless they could do like uh, Maldives did underwater some, something. That's the next one you must try. Then, yeah, Dr. Anuradha's children, they made our uh, normal slogan, no? Medley, the second family, no hollow slogan, real. And if you have the pictures, you will see when the, <laughs> when the sneakers are struggling, they were merely going along, first making the castle, then you know, making a hole, then finding themselves in it. That was fun. But we like to, as adults, we will, we will see next time, we will see. Okay? Then there was applause from close by when Jagan was speaking. Again, I could cut out the whole thing into two silos. Jagan speech sound, separately I put the other sound. Really, I'm telling you, today was a test and I looked around. All of you were attentive. Very few of you, you know, looked around. I mean, it's remarkable, I'm telling you. Then, yes, team modified too. Okay. Then, yeah, finally, if you some find some imperfections, remember, it's a beat meeting after all. So come on. So don't we won't be we won't put that filters, thin you know, thick fil thin filters we want to. Then what I also realized, I think I may be echo echoing your thoughts. See, it's a microcosm of the world. So many things happening. We conduct our business. We conducted 719 with a saving of six thousand rupees. Not a bad thing to happen. And we did it on time with nine minutes to save. Kindly research this. I will join you. Then, yeah, uh, I'm sorry that I goofed up because I just landed and I generally would like to have them all data together. I didn't have it. I'm, uh, my apologies uh, for mixing up things like I did. Then Google Form. Where is the generator of Google Form? You are the embodiment of today's theme. Google Form. No waste of time. No waste of resources. Absolutely no carbon footprint. Very well done, very well done. Then, Toastmaster Sundaration, you were inspired by this and you got people to talk about, you know, all poetry, uh, the words, 
flew very nice, very, very nice. And you also played the grandfather in between. I loved that. <laughs> but you did it so nicely. Experienced grandfather, I'm sure. So that's, to me, the sum up of it. So, again, what happens is the sense of the unfamiliar. It's interesting. You know, it creates an anticipation. I thought all of us, you see, the only problem is generally with Toastmaster meetings is predictability. Today, because the setting was different, I suspect there was that element of, hey, how will it go? There's some suspense. So, I think it worked very well for us. So, at the end, framed by a dozen trees, the TMOD asked us to plant trees. You know, in Mandro's uh, persuasive speech, there are five things. One of them is called visualization. He was showing us, he is not showing, <coughs> showing, he was showing us what will happen, what we can create. You know, in the, this oasis in a desert, I thought it was very, very, I, I loved it. The, you know, sitting where I was, the whole thing fitted so beautifully. So, moral of the story, my recommendation on behalf of this and crowd that had a lot of mirth, do this more often. Over to... Thank you, General. Thank you, General. So, my clients, you all agree with me to help our Prime Minister, his uh, commitment to make India net zero target by 2070. So, plan trees and we'll have more and more this final session like this. And with that, I think uh, you all voted for the TT speaker, right? And now you can vote for the best role player. And with that, I can hand over this stage to Post President Postmaster Dinkara. Thank you, dear Mori. That's a wonderful session. I hope we all enjoy the session. Let's all have a round of applause for all the role players for making this happen. Let's have a uh, feedback from the guests. Guest Praveena, would you like to come over here? Yes. I came to understand from some of my uh, colleagues who are also Toastmasters that Redley is one of uh, a very good leading Toastmaster club in Chennai. And since I am from Tiruvannu, Radaya is the closest for me when it comes to Toastmasters. So when I was a bit uh, apprehensive thinking I don't have much choice, I was uh, given a positive recommendation by everyone saying that though there is only one, it is one of the best. So you can join there closing your eyes. So it's just a matter of time. I'm just uh, you know, trying to settle down here in Chennai. It's just eight months since we came over here. Uh, so I just need some time before I uh, become a member once again. So as I said, a great club. So obviously the session was great. And I hope we have such different sessions like in beach or park, etc. So it definitely gives that kind of an ambience which is uplifting. Thank you so much. Get Ketana. After some months, I can able to join again and you know, continue uh, the coming for the classes. And uh, it's been great to, uh, to meet and uh, uh, chat with you all and uh, the, to know about your opinions. And also the uh, connecting with nature and uh, talking our thoughts, thoughts, everything is great. Yeah. I'll keep forward to some next uh, few months later. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for spending time with us. I don't know, like, how many of you believe in the idea, like, universe conspires when you really, you know, desire something. I don't know how many of you believe in that. I do believe in that, 100%. And the first time when I visited your club, I thought, like, I should do a really good speech. I should prepare it and I will bring it to this club. I thought about it after my first visit to the club. And as I started working on this speech, I thought like, okay, this could be the one that I could take it to me. I had the small idea in my mind. 
it was not falling in place. I made two versions of it. I scrapped it off. It was not really working. And finally, when I had somewhere in place, you know, I thought like, okay, this is coming around. I reached out to Venkat and I asked him like, do we have a slot? And he said for the next two weeks, it's all blocked. You don't have a slot. Then I reached out to another club because I don't want to do it in my club. I was trying to do it outside. I reached out to another club. They again said like, no, it's like ISC is coming around. We don't have a slot. And I had already told my mom that I'm not coming home. So she called me up on Friday and asked me like, what's it now? I told her, no, I'm not coming home anyway. And by then Venkat again texted me and told me like the slot is over. So I was able to do this. So it just happened, you know, the way that I thought in my mind and it has all fallen in place. So I'm so happy that I was able to present this speech to with all this nice audience in such a nice ambience. So thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much for visiting us. Your speech was like a movie, like like uh, I was like uh, running through that movie, Sadranga Vete. Maybe you are thinking My inspiration. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it was very nice. And then thanks for taking time and coming and presenting us to us. Okay. So we have few announcements. Yeah. So Sudaraman sir, would you like to give some feedback? This was just once upon a time I was uh, not a dual member. I was a member in three clubs. But uh, since it was overwhelming and decided to stick on to one club, right now I am not a member of Metric Club. In the last six months I have attended many clubs just to get a taste of it, how these clubs are faring. So unfortunately most of the clubs, so what I have witnessed, uh, the performance was so pathetic. And the basic IG factors were missing. They are not started in time, they are not ended in time. And uh, all the speakers got disqualified due to time limit. So these kind of, uh, and finally I console myself that probably it is all because of the COVID, online, so continuous online presence, and you know, people were not able to come out with their regular uh, form kind of thing. But today I am so happy and I am extremely delighted, especially being a past president of Medley Toastmasters. I am so happy that uh, Medley is doing a fantastic job. I think they deserve a big round of applause. And all their past presidents, they have come out with one, at least uh, one or two lovely best practices and uh, still some of them are retained. One such thing I could recollect is uh, the practice of uh, advancing the meeting by 5 minutes instead of 3 o'clock, starting the meeting by 2.55. I think that was brought by Toastmaster Ramlingam. Ramlingam. Like, like that, uh, several best practices are followed recording, and uh, recording, Jane recording, Jane yes, uh, recording and uploading on uh, YouTube. Your better half. Yes. Better half. So uh, I, it was a homecoming for me and uh, definitely I would like to come back again as a guest uh, whenever opportunity arises. Uh, today a fantastic evening spent here with all of you. Had a great time. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. We have a few announcements. I think as uh, we already mentioned the last week's meeting, we will go with the uh, context for uh, ISCN and the TT in the coming month, March 11th. And you can send your nominations to Toastmaster Ranga, who will be our contest chair. So please uh, share your details with uh, Toastmaster Ranga. And we also have an announcement from our district, uh, Toastmaster yeah, VP, our VP would talk about it. It's about the event that they are trying yeah. to plan for. District 120 is planning for a membership campaign. So they will come up with an advertisement on uh, 26th of February uh, in uh, the Hindu and uh, Dinamalar. So they are going to conduct an educational session open to all, kind of education session for three hours. After that, post that session, the participating clubs, they can have the members, the participants enrolled as members on the spot. So they are, the district 120 is giving three options to these uh, participants. So the option one is for them to enroll as member on the spot, paying $7.5 plus $20 and next six months fee on the spot if they pay then those participants need not pay the club charges okay so that is one discount they are providing and the second uh, the other option is the member can pay for only for the March month $7.5 and the pathway fee of $20 then they will get 50 percentage discount on the club fee the third option is the, uh, the uh, uh, enrolling member can pay 500 rupees as token advance. In that case, he will get 25% of the club fee as a wa uh, waiver. So these are the three different options, plans they have come up with for the mem uh, membership. 
so for this each club participating club need to do needs to do a business meeting and give an approval so we are planning to do this business meeting next week so we'll have in the next week's meeting we'll have 5 minutes business meeting end of that we'll have a voting to decide whether we will participate in that campaign or not if i may ask yes so when you say club fee are you referring to the uh, snacks yeah medley fee part? yes how can you forgive that so you you get a member so say uh, we we are we uh, we also brought up all the uh, members who were there in the meeting yesterday we brought up all these points so those uh, the district 120 feels that it is a huge drive by which they can bring more members for going this we can charges. afford it but i'm just trying to clarify yes so right. just not, yeah it's not the one thing that whether we want to participate in this or not yeah. Yeah. we go just ahead. need to go for it yeah. 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 please clarify on to is it a speech craft you are going to complain or your ultimate aim is membership campaign membership campaign it is speech purely it's not a speech, speech craft speech membership craft campaign it is different no so, no are coming up with the optional to attract new members yeah, attract new guests members. to that meeting making them as members for the participating clubs so you, so the conductor the conducting person will be the club d120 district district 120 in one hall is, or in different clubs in one hall they are planning to do it in march 1000 plus participants so are expected gathering you are going to attract members. yeah we will have stalls the participating club will be given a stall where you can demonstrate about your club's activities and what is the quality so, yes, you know it's like this a competition can we do this next week because we have the business session yeah, next week the, that's yes yeah so yes, business session we will week. discuss we will give time and we will discuss and we will vote yeah. just wanted to share this uh, video so that you see through it and then maybe we can discuss in detail next week now it's time for the best performance for the day so best role player goes to ttf thomas Should I keep very speaking? He's my director for all this. Best wicket was Mr. Jagat. Best evaluator was Mr. Saravan. ऑर्गनाइजर ऑफ द स्पीकर she will evaluate on the spot uh, tt uh, speakers uh, speech and she will give feedback okay so for this we will circulate a google form by which you can nominate yourself and we will pick the five members only five members we will pick out of that for the mock tt so we will have mock tt plus two or three guests will be invited in the tt session so we will we'll circulate the google form this is the picking based on first in first time No, no, no. So Google form you will nominate so first in first time. No, no, no we'll lottery. Lottery. Ah. lottery. We'll go with lottery. Okay. Not first in first time. Lottery. 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 So the meeting okay. is twenty fifth next 